Pisgah Legal Services saved my life. I say they saved my life. Um, they got me out of a bad situation and then helped me stay out of that situation. So, yeah, they, they, they're like family to me now. So this friend that I worked with when I worked he was an older gentleman. He said he had two bedrooms, uh, two extra bedrooms, that I could come and stay there until I got back on my feet and found another place to live. There was never any uh, relationship sexually or we, it was just friendship. It started getting uncomfortable. Um, kind of like sexual harassing. He would grab me and hug me, and I didn't like that. I am, um, I was abused my whole childhood. So when he was doing this, I was like, I'm 48 years old. I should not be being touched and hugged if I don't want to be. So when I would back off and tell him, please don't do that, he would cause a very hostile environment. The moratorium of not evicting tenants and that kind of thing made housing very scarce. So it was hard. But the longer I lived there, the more he, he would do things. Yes, I was in my bed asleep in my room, and he had come back there and sat on my bed. He was just staring at me. Well, him sitting on the bed, it, it, he t actually touched my leg, and I woke up. I was terrified. I didn't know what he was gonna do. He snuggled and rubbed my legs, but didn't go any for further. He said, you're welcome. I felt like I was being sexually extorted. He's asking me for sex in order to stay living there. Then that's when I contacted Pisgah because I wanted to know what legal right I had with this man doing what he's, he's doing, sexually extorting. They got me out of there immediately. They put me in a hotel. Now mind you, I had no money, nothing. But because of the situation, they got me out of there. Um, they paid for me to stay in a hotel room. And again, with the help of Sandy, um, who's my angel, I always tell her, she's my sunshine. And, she's my sunshine and too. <laughs> she gets me. She helps me. She she's more like an emotional support for me. Many times I called her, didn't I? Very depressed and, and sad and worried. And she just talked me right through it. There's so many people out there in bad situations that don't have the resources. But Pisgah, if they could keep their funding to help people like me, you have a better, you have a result, not a fatality.